and welcome back to Health, Home, and Lifestyle. I'm here with Rose Greeno, President of the Guam Nurses Association, and Glynis Almonte, the Executive Director. We're here to talk about Nursing Month, which happens this May. So thank you for joining me, ladies. Yes, you're thank welcome. you so much, Isa, for having us. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Yeah. So the Guam Nurses Association is a nonprofit organization for professional nurses here in Guam. We've been in existence for 65 years this May, and uh, we will be celebrating, yes, your Nurses Month in May. So it's, we don't only celebrate a week, but in Guam, we celebrate the whole month in May. Okay, so yeah. I understand you both have a the list of lineup are ready for this meet. So can you tell us a little bit about the different events that are happening? Well, we're going to kick off our um, Nurses Month celebration with a proclamation signing in this coming Friday at 3.30 at the Governor's Conference Room. Um, that's April 29. So, and then uh, we're going to have a Thanksgiving Mass at the Cathedral at 11.30. And then on May 7, we're going to have a nursing conference. So that's going to be a whole day from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5. That's going to be at Weston. And then on May 14, we're going to have um, health and fitness day. So this kind of new, um, we, it's going to be from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, we have a lot of activities lined up like exercise. So we're going to start with a uh, yoga, then a tai chi, then a mix fit, and then a Sumba. And it's really a, c a collaboration of different organizations from the um, um, Guam Honor Society of Nurses, the Advanced Nurse Practitioner will be there to give health advice, and um, representative from the hospitals, the clinics, and also uh, from the other agencies. So we're gonna have that. And to culminate our um, celebrations, um, we will have a nursing award and banquet and May 29 at Westin. Yeah, so I'm gonna have uh, Glennis talk about that. Okay, I would like to talk about our awards and recognition. Every year we do provide or give awards to our nurses who excel in their respective areas. This year we're giving out um, seven awards, seven categories on even years. Odd years we have the nurse of the year. Last year Rose was our nurse of the year. <laughs> yes, so this year these are the uh, award categories, uh, distinguished membership. So we're the nurse, a member who uh, provided a lot of uh, work, dedication, commitment to GNA. They can be uh, nominated for this award. Another one is the honorary nursing practice in inpatient nursing. So these are the hospital nurses. Mm. Uh, the third one is honorary nursing practice in outpatient nursing, the clinics. The fourth one is honorary nursing practice in community health nursing. These are your public health nurses, um, home care nurses. Uh, the fifth one is honorary nursing practice in school nursing. So these are our school health counselors. The sixth one is honorary nursing practice in nursing management and leadership. These are the supervisors, administrators. And the last one is the honorary nursing practice in nursing and allied health education. So these are our professors, our instructors at UOG, GCC, and other um, educational facilities. So what happens here is we have nomination packets. Um, we have a deadline which is on the 29th already. Okay. Okay. They should be uh, completing the packets submitted to us because I'm a member of the uh, committee, the awards committee. And then we will have five judges from the community. And these judges will look at the packets and they will not know who are the nominees. So we will be uh, removing the names of the nominees. So they will not be partial. So, um, and then we have a coordinator, an awards coordinator who is Winnie Butler from the Guam Diabetes Association. She will gather all the um, uh, nomination packets that were rated by the judges and then tally the points and then it will only be her who will know who are the winners until the day of the okay. awards on the 29th. Okay, and so there are yes. only two days left for yes. nominations. Yes. So if people are interested in making a nomination, who should they contact? Okay, they can call me at uh, my phone number 787-4148 or uh, Joy Mendez, she's the uh, chairperson of the awards at 488-0932. Actually, we send it out um, way long, time. Way long mm -hmm. time. 
Yes. So do the nominees have to be members of your organization? Yes. That's yes. one of the criteria. They have to be uh, uh, members of the Guam Nurses Association. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So and then the award ceremony happens on the 29th. So, you know, uh, every year you honor these hardworking nurses in our community. Can you tell us a little, little bit about the role of a nurse in Guam and, you know, what does it take to be a nurse here on the island? Well, we play a critical role in our healthcare system, may it be in the hospital, may it be in the public health system, may it be in the school, or even in the outpatient clinics. Um, you know, uh, nurses are integral part. You see, you know, nurses are the one that take care of you over there. So it's really neat that our our theme this year is um, culture of safety start with you. Mm -hmm. Nurses are the one that you know, promote over there in the safety and making sure that we deliver safe and effective care to our patients in different healthcare settings. Um, if I may add, you know, we have, um, since we're celebrating our 65th year anniversary as a Guam Nurses Association, um, um, we also would like to honor our nurses that are 65 years old and, and above, above yes. um, on our uh, banquet as we feel like you know those uh, senior nurses are also been a mentors uh, we would like to recognize their contributions in the community and in overall healthcare um, setting here in guam so um, if um, you are out there you know yeah. uh, registered nurses that's 65 years old and above Please contact me at 929-5509 uh, or glynis at 787-4148. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And you know, nurses are the first line of defense. They're the first responders. When you go to the clinic, when you go to the hospital, you'll yes. see yes. a nurse. You're, you're the first ones yes. that we see. So I have to thank you again for, for all your work. Is there any last comments you guys would like to make? I'd like to mention about our nursing conference. Uh, we have uh, very good topics. Uh, an integral to tool in creating culture of safety from uh, PhD Marshall Lee Bacchiano from University of the Philippines, Philippines our with uh, Dr. Anna Joy Mendes. We also have a paradigm shift from individual blame to a systems approach to be presented by Commander Evangeline Allen, who is the chairperson of the uh, Nurses Month activities. Workplace, health, and safety, it's everyone's responsibility to be presented by Susan Cabrera, who's the occupational health nurse at uh, Naval, Naval Hospital. Hospital. We have uh, the new stroke therapy and the nurses' role to be presented by Dr. Scott Shea from Guam okay. Regional Medical uh, City. And the last one is the art and science of changing human behavior. Uh, we're giving five contact hours. Nurses need to accumulate contact hours before they can renew their license. license. And in Guam, we need to have at least 30 contact hours. So we're inviting all the nurses and even the nursing assistants be because they also accumulate uh, CEUs before they renew their certificates. So that's uh, on the 7th, May 7th, and uh, pre-registration is uh, encouraged. So again, you can call me 787-4148 or Rose at 929-5509. Thank All right, you. well, thank you again so for joining much. us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> thank you. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.